Hello and welcome to a new tutorial short for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm Icon and this one is about movement controls. So I'm going to talk about everything related to movement on two feet in this one, how to do it and what you should pay attention to. We're not going to talk about any movement on vehicles because that's going to get its own video. So let's get started and keep it short and crisp. First off, basic movement is served with a numpad. Make sure your num lock is glowing, enabled, and then you use this thing just like a compass rose. 8 stands for north, 2 stands for south, and so on and so forth. It's really easily understandable. You can also use the arrow keys for movement, or you can also adjust, when pressing the question mark button, you can adjust the movement keys to something you personally would prefer, in case you're playing on a, uh, on a, on a laptop keyboard or something like that. But here you see the movement uh, commands one more time. Okay, so movement up and down stairs is happening by using the page up or page down buttons. So page up for upstairs, page up, page down for downstairs goes without saying. You can also press enter and use these uh, thingies here directly, but just, just so you know. The next thing you can do is climb up on buildings by using these wonderful little downspouts. So to do so, you press, while standing on a downspout, page up. You can't, uh, wait a sec. Here, page up. Like you've seen, these other two uh, downspouts had no, nothing attached to them, but here, page up, climb north, done. So as you can see here, these uh, downspouts are now visible as little white dots and to move downstairs again you press small e for examining examine the spot you came from and then climb down and that's how you do it keep two things in it uh, in your mind try to keep your encumbrance as low as possible when you're climbing down on stuff like uh, downspouts and try to have as much dexterity as possible and have your other uh, stats not encumbering you in any way because when you're doing this you might as well fall so you can use downspouts though pretty nicely to get rid of zombies another thing that you can use when you're moving you can also smash windows press small s and crash them in do that twice though so you can slip through that here's some uh, theory stuff about that when you press x and hover over these fields, you see everything has a move cost. TLDR, the higher the move cost, the more costly the actions will be while moving over these uh, tiles. So when you want to fight, always try to be on a tile with 100 move cost and try to get your enemy on a tile which has as much move cost as possible. This way, you will be using the movement system to your own advantage. One last thing. When you're checking out downstairs, there's wonderful. There's a wonderful thing you can do, and that's peeking down the stairs. So to peek down the stairs, you press capital X, and you press page down while standing on the staircase. This way, you can check out what's downstairs before going downstairs. You can also use this, of course, by peeking upstairs. Just press capital X and page up. This way, you can do this as well. And that's the fundamental basics about movement in this game. Doors and windows usually open themselves while by walking against them. If they are not, they are locked. And yeah, that's just basic movement in a nutshell. The most important things to sum it up again, numpad for basic movement, page up and page down for uh, tra traversing the height levels. Take care that you're moving not over squares that have an insanely high move cost while fighting. And when you're climbing up something or down something, always be wary that you're not accidentally killing yourself because you're uh, not really good at climbing because you're too encumbered. By the way, when you press capital X and use this at these pots here, you can't peek downstairs. It doesn't work here, just so you know. Alrighty, and that's all I have to say about the basic controls of this game. I hope that was helpful for you. And feel free to drop me your comments down below. If there are any questions, ask away. If there's any other topic about this game you want to have explained in a short video, leave a comment there. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up on my channel. All you need to do is hit that notification bell. Hope to see you guys next time and have a good one. Goodbye.